Since 2000, the world has witnessed 47 explosive volcanic eruptions, but only three of those have occurred in the United States. All three took place in Alaska, far from the country's major urban areas. Despite this, the United States is home to 169 active volcanoes, and three of these are considered particularly dangerous due to their proximity to the Seattle and Portland metropolitan regions. This raises the question, when might the next significant eruption occur? And why is Mount Rainier especially concerning? Volcanoes are among nature's most powerful and destructive forces, occasionally erupting with immense energy that disrupts ecosystems and threatens human settlements. Although the United States is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region known for its intense tectonic activity, it has largely escaped major volcanic disasters in recent history. However, this period of calm will not last indefinitely. For those living near the Rocky Mountains, the risk from volcanic activity is minimal, but other areas face far greater challenges. The most recent volcanic activity in the United States has primarily been concentrated in Alaska and Hawaii. Alaska contains the highest number of active volcanoes in the nation, with over 130 located mostly in the Aleutian Arc. This volcanic chain stretches from the Alaska Peninsula through the Aleutian Islands, where the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the North American Plate. Prominent volcanoes in this region include Mount Redoubt, Mount Spur, and Augustine Volcano, each of which has erupted in recent decades. While these eruptions occurred near cities like Anchorage and towns on the Kenai Peninsula, the primary impact was limited to ash fallout and cleanup efforts. Hawaii's volcanic activity, on the other hand, stems from its location above a hotspot in the central Pacific Ocean. Its volcanoes rank among the most active on Earth, the state features five active volcanoes, including Kalauea, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, Hualalai, and Haleakala. Kalauea, situated on the Big Island, is especially noteworthy for its nearly continuous eruptions since 1983, making it one of the world's most closely observed volcanoes. The Cascade Range, found in the contiguous United States, represents the country's most prominent volcanic region. This mountain range runs from Northern California through Oregon and Washington and lies within the Cascadia subduction zone, where the Juan de Fuca Plate is descending beneath the North American Plate. The Cascades are home to some of the nation's most recognizable volcanoes. Mount St. Helens in Washington is infamous for its catastrophic 1980 eruption, which caused widespread devastation. Mount Rainier, located near Tacoma and Seattle, is considered particularly dangerous due to its thick ice cover which could melt during an eruption and generate massive lahars. Another volcano in the region, Mount Hood, is situated near Portland, Oregon, and could similarly affect nearby communities if it were to erupt. California also has several significant volcanic sites. Mount Shasta, a towering stratovolcano, dominates Northern California's landscape. Lassen Peak, located within Lassen Volcanic National Park, last erupted in 1915. The Long Valley Caldera, which experienced a massive eruption more than 760,000 years ago, remains geothermally active today and is carefully monitored by scientists. While recent volcanic activity in the U.S. has largely been confined to Alaska and Hawaii, the dormant volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest and California still pose considerable risks. Although quiet for decades, these volcanoes have the potential for sudden, catastrophic eruptions. Together, they shape the geography of the United States and present ongoing challenges for the communities located near them. The United States has a long and storied history of volcanic eruptions, marked by several significant and destructive events that have left indelible impacts on the landscape and communities. In recent history, eruptions such as those of Mount St. Helens, Kilauea, and Mount Lassen stand out as some of the most devastating in terms of their effects on human life, property, and the environment. Mount St. Helens, located approximately 50 miles north of Portland in Washington State, is infamous for its dramatic eruption on May 18, 1980. Widely regarded as the most destructive volcanic eruption in U.S. history, this event was preceded by two months of earthquakes and steam venting episodes. A massive debris avalanche, triggered by a 5.1 magnitude earthquake, caused the volcano's north face to collapse unleashing a powerful lateral blast. 
The eruption propelled a towering ash plume nearly 80,000 feet into the atmosphere, scattering ash across 11 states. The immediate area was devastated, with the lateral blast flattening forests and the debris avalanche covering 23 square miles. Tragically, 57 lives were lost, and the eruption caused over a billion dollars in damages, destroying homes, infrastructure, and natural resources. The mountain's once symmetrical cone which had earned it the nickname America's Mount Fuji, was permanently altered, forever changing the skyline visible from Portland. Kalawea, located on Hawaii's Big Island, is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, with near-continuous eruptions from its east rift zone since 1983. Among its most significant events was the 2018 eruption, which dramatically reshaped the island's landscape. The eruption began in May following the collapse of the Pu'u'o'o crater. Lava flows from fissures in the Leilani Estates area destroyed over 700 homes, displaced thousands of residents, and engulfed more than 13 square miles of land. The lava reached the ocean, creating new land, but also releasing hazardous gases and producing acid rain. This eruption, one of Kalawea's most destructive in modern history, underscored the ongoing volatility of Hawaii's volcanic activity. Since then, Kilauea has erupted nearly every year except 2022, maintaining its reputation as a persistent force of nature. Mount Lassen, in Northern California, experienced a series of eruptions between 1914 and 1921, with the most notable occurring on May 22, 1915. This event produced a pyroclastic flow that ravaged the northeastern slope destroying forests and leaving behind a massive debris field. An eruption column soared 30,000 feet into the air, spreading volcanic ash as far as 200 miles away. Although no lives were lost, the eruption had a significant impact on the surrounding region, ultimately leading to the creation of Lassen Volcanic National Park to preserve and study the area. Another extraordinary eruption occurred at Novarupta in Alaska, part of the Katmai Volcanic Cluster, in June 1912. This eruption is considered the largest of the 20th century, ejecting more than three cubic miles of magma and creating the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a landscape filled with ash flows. Fortunately, the remote location spared any human casualties, but the eruption profoundly affected the region's ecology and geology, leaving a legacy that scientists continue to study. Despite being a volcanically active nation, the United States has, in recent decades, largely avoided catastrophic volcanic disasters. However, this does not guarantee continued safety, particularly when considering the Cascade Range. Stretching from Northern California through Oregon and Washington, the Cascades are among the most dangerous volcanic regions in the country. This area's risk is heightened by its proximity to major urban centers, including Portland, Seattle, and Tacoma, which lie near active volcanoes such as Mount St. Helens, Mount Hood, and Mount Rainier. Mount St. Helens, roughly 50 miles northeast of Portland, serves as a stark reminder of the devastation these volcanoes can unleash. Its catastrophic 1980 eruption, which claimed 57 lives and caused extensive damage, remains etched in history as a potent example of the power and unpredictability of volcanic activity. Mount St. Helens is closely monitored due to its active history and the likelihood of future eruptions. While scientists agree that it will erupt again, the exact timing and magnitude remain uncertain. When it does erupt, its effects will likely be visible from Portland, underscoring the importance of its surveillance. Just 50 miles from Portland, Mount Hood, the tallest mountain in Oregon, is another active volcano with the potential to erupt in the future, despite remaining dormant since the 1790s. The primary concern with Mount Hood is the threat of lahars, or volcanic mudflows, which could severely impact surrounding areas, including parts of the Portland metropolitan area. Lahars can form even in the absence of an eruption if volcanic heat melts the mountain's significant snow and ice cover. However, it is Mount Rainier, located approximately 60 miles southeast of Seattle and Tacoma, that poses one of the greatest volcanic threats in the United States. Towering at 14,411 feet, it is the highest peak in the Cascade Range and is heavily glaciated. An eruption or significant seismic event at Mount Rainier could unleash massive lahars capable of reaching the densely populated areas of Seattle and Tacoma. Historic lahars from the volcano have traveled as far as Puget Sound, 
and current studies suggest that similar events could cause catastrophic damage to infrastructure and communities. While the likelihood of a lahar directly reaching Seattle is low, the potential consequences remain a significant concern. The risks associated with these volcanoes extend beyond the immediate effects of eruptions, such as pyroclastic flows and ashfall. Secondary impacts like lahars and flooding can cause widespread destruction. Lahars have the capacity to bury valleys and structures under thick layers of mud, disrupt transportation networks, and contaminate water supplies. Additionally, ash clouds pose serious hazards to aviation by clogging engines and impairing visibility, creating challenges for millions of people living in nearby urban areas. Fortunately, organizations such as the United States Geological Survey USGS, actively monitor these volcanoes to provide early warnings and mitigate potential risks. The USGS National Volcanic Early Warning System focuses on improving monitoring and hazard assessment for high-threat volcanoes, particularly those that could impact large population centers. This system is critical in ensuring communities have ample time to prepare for future eruptions. Today, the Seattle metropolitan region, including Tacoma, faces the greatest risk from a volcanic eruption due to its proximity to Mount Rainier. With over 4 million residents potentially affected, the stakes are high. In Portland, Mount Hood presents a similar, though slightly smaller scale threat, with around 2.5 million people at risk. While neither city is close enough to face total destruction on the scale of ancient Pompeii, the effects of an eruption would still be severe, particularly for smaller towns located closer to these volcanoes. Although this discussion has focused on volcanoes near the Pacific Ocean, it raises an intriguing question. Why aren't there more active volcanoes across the rest of the United States? The Rocky Mountains, the most prominent mountain range in the United States, stand out for their lack of active volcanoes, with the notable exception of the Yellowstone region. This absence of volcanic activity is due to the unique geological history and tectonic characteristics of the Rockies, which differ significantly from other volcanic regions in the country. The formation of the Rocky Mountains which stretch from Canada through the central United States to New Mexico, is primarily attributed to tectonic events during the Laramide orogeny. This period, which occurred approximately 80 to 55 million years ago, was marked by the collision and compression of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate. These processes led to the uplift and formation of the Rockies, creating a range primarily composed of sedimentary, metamorphic, and ancient igneous rocks rather than the younger, more volcanically active rocks found in the Cascade Range. Additionally, the Rockies are located within the interior of the North American Plate, far from the Pacific Ring of Fire, where the majority of the world's volcanoes are concentrated. This intraplate location means that the tectonic forces required to generate and sustain active volcanoes are largely absent. Yellowstone National Park, situated on the eastern edge of the Rockies, is a notable exception due to its position over a volcanic hotspot. The Yellowstone Caldera, a supervolcano, is one of the few areas in the Rocky Mountains with significant volcanic activity. Over the past two million years, this hotspot has produced several massive eruptions, with the most recent occurring approximately 640,000 years ago. However, the volcanic activity associated with Yellowstone is a localized phenomenon and does not reflect the broader geologic nature of the Rockies. In essence, the Rocky Mountains were formed through tectonic processes that did not depend on volcanic activity in the same way the Cascade Range did. Outside the Yellowstone Caldera, the Rockies are considered relatively safe from the threat of volcanic eruptions. Meanwhile, the Cascade Range remains a high-risk volcanic region. Eruptions are inevitable, with Mount St. Helens being the most likely candidate for future activity. However, if Mount Hood in Oregon or Mount Rainier in Washington were to erupt, the nearby metropolitan areas of Portland and Seattle could face significant challenges and potential devastation. So, could an eruption at Mount St. Helens? Helens, Mount Hood, or Mount Rainier trigger eruptions at the other volcanoes. The eruption of Mount St. Helens, Mount Hood, or Mount Rainier is highly unlikely to trigger the eruption of the others. Although these volcanoes are part of the Cascade Range and share a connection through the Cascadia subduction zone, each operates as an independent volcanic system with its own magma chamber. These magma chambers are distinct and isolated, meaning activity in one volcano does not directly influence the magma systems of the others. 
the tectonic setting of the Cascadia subduction zone, where the Juan de Fuca plate subducts beneath the North American plate, provides the conditions for volcanic activity across the region. However, while this subduction process powers the volcanoes, it does not synchronize their eruptions. Historical evidence supports this. For example, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, one of the most significant volcanic events in U.S. history, did not trigger eruptions at nearby volcanoes like Mount Rainier or Mount Hood. Rainier. Similarly, past eruptions of Mount Hood and Mount Rainier did not lead to activity in other Cascade volcanoes. Although direct triggering is improbable, large volcanic eruptions can cause minor regional effects, such as redistributing stress in the Earth's crust. However, this stress redistribution is typically localized and unlikely to influence a nearby volcano's magma chamber significantly. Other impacts, such as ash or debris deposition, can affect ecosystems or water supplies in the surrounding areas, but they do not trigger eruptions. In a nutshell, while the volcanoes of the Cascade Range share a common tectonic origin, each volcano's activity is independent. Monitoring each volcano individually is essential, as the region remains a high-risk zone for volcanic events. If you found this exploration of Mount Rainier fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our upcoming geology, space, natural disasters, and the forces that shape our world. Thank you for watching, and stay curious.